welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. So in this video today, I'm gonna be sharing my top five furniture makeovers of 2020. And I love doing videos like this because it's easy, and you guys absolutely love these videos, you do. So, I have also teamed up with an <laughs> also teamed up with a few other ladies here on YouTube that do the same thing. They're all amazing. We've created a playlist for you. So if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked down below. Trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. They are all amazing and they do amazing work. So let's go ahead and hop on into my video with DIY, not DIY, furniture makeover number one all right so my first makeover that i'm going to share are these end tables so fun fact about this i actually this was a collab with corey who is also going to be showing you her top five 2020. um we decided to do end tables and i was super excited because i had these end tables in my garage forever and they needed to get done so the first thing i did of course was wipe everything down and wash it out really good because it's really really dirty and then i started to work on the inside so getting my measurements um measuring out my wood and cutting everything out um, to fit it inside of the inner parts of the end tables. After I got all my pieces cut out, the next thing I did was sanded everything smooth and stained my wood. After that, the next thing I did was I started to get this piece prepped for painting. So I removed the hardware and I began to sand my piece down to smooth out any rough areas. The next thing I did, of course, was paint my piece. So I just want to say really quick that I am going to be kind of like brushing through everything just to kind of like highlight some certain things. But um, if you want to know more about products and how I did specific things with these pieces, I will have each of them linked down below for you to check out the full tutorial. So after that, I added all of my wood and I started to clean my hardware and attach that back to my piece. And I lightly distressed this with a 220 grit. And that is all I did with this. And of course, I sealed this piece as well. So I love how this turned out. We have these in our room now. They are our end tables. And we finally got some new end tables because the ones we had, I was just tired of them. So I love these, love how they turn out. I love the contrast between the wood and the liner that I put in the inside of the drawers and the gold everything just came together so well and I was super excited when I was finished with these two pieces all right so for this next piece I am going to be spray painting it something that I love to do because it's super easy to do and it'll look like give you a smooth nice finish so I took some spray paint I'm using blossom white and after I cleaned my piece I just smoothed out any rough areas with my sandpaper and then I began to spray paint this cute little end table. The next thing I did since I used like spray paint, I'm just going to take my um, stain and I'm going to use that as if you would like a dark wax or something like that. So I started to just add this on to my piece and wipe it down to give it a nice different like aged kind of look. Then after that, I started to plank the top. If you are new here, I love planking tops, adding wood wherever I can to pieces because I just feel like they bring in so much character. So after I got my pieces nice and stained, not nice and stained, but nice and sanded stained and all that good stuff, I just attached these and then I added some wood filler and attached my hardware back. So that's all I did to this piece. I absolutely love how it turned out. Very simple to transform this from that just normal black. So if you don't like black and you want something lighter, this is something that you can do. It doesn't even have to be this color. It could be a different color. And if you come across these, you can redo them in your own way. But one of my favorite things to do is of course, take a lighter color of spray paint, spray paint it and add a stain over it because it gives it a completely different look. So, this is one of my favorite pieces, very, very simple to do, and I just love the end result of this piece, which this piece is no longer with me, although I wanted to keep it. Um, I thoroughly love, love, love how this turned out. All right, so for this next piece, I absolutely love the detailing on this, so I knew I was about to bang, 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 make this look good. So, of course, I cleaned it first and then after I cleaned this piece I started to fix 
anything that needed to be fixed. So any wiggly legs, the missing leg, which the people had the leg and I was super happy about that and it wasn't missing. And then I sanded my top smooth to get it ready for painting and any other imperfections, I used um, my sandpaper as well to smooth those out. So then after that, I put on a bonding primer by Country Chic Paint. It's a clear bonding primer. primer. And then I started to paint this piece. So I just painted the sides and then for my drawers, I blended it out. The next thing I did was I started to work on the trim. So I just took the original color and I lightened it up a little bit with white. And then I started to paint my trim using various different size brushes. So then I started to work on the inner portion. So putting up holes, removing the drawer track part and cutting the wood that I needed for that specific area. So after I got all my wood cut, I started to sand of course, and then stain. So after that, it was time to add my wood. And all I did was I took my wood glue and I attached the pieces that way. And then I nailed them with my nail gun. Lastly, I added my hardware and I sealed this piece. And I absolutely love how this turned out. Um, I loved how I enhanced the detailing just a little bit, nothing too extravagant. Adding the wood gave this piece some warmth. The hardware that I chose, oh my gosh, amazing. I love the clear hardware. I went through like several different hardware choices, but then I ended up with the clear hardware. And I think that was a good decision. So all in all, I love how this piece turned out and the changes and the tweaks that I made to change this piece up a little bit. All right, so moving along to the next makeover, it is another little side table. And of course I cleaned it first. And then after I got it nice and clean, I began to paint the piece and I just used like Waverly chalk paint to do that. And I love this color cashew that they have. After I painted the piece, I started to mark off where I needed to cut my boards and I cut them on my miter saw. After that, um, I'm taking these adhesive stencils, which you guys know I love to use adhesive stencils. And I started to just add these little floral stencils around the uh, little side table. After I added those stencils, if there were any imperfections, I just took my paint and I brushed over them. Okay, so the next thing I did was I flipped this piece over and I traced it on top of cardboard and I'll be telling you why I did that in a little bit. And then after that, I started to attach my wood, again, using my wood glue, my wood clamps, and my nail gun. After I attached that, I just took my wood filler again and I filled in those holes and sanded them smooth. Okay, so the cardboard is basically just like my template. So I traced out the shape and then I'm going to be using that to guide my jigsaw to create that shape. And then I'm going to take my palm sander and I'm just sanding smooth the edges and kind of rounding them out to complete that shape, which is going to mimic the top that it had originally. After I got that done, I just started to add the bottom planks in and then I stained the top of the wood the same way that I stained the bottom. And then I took this piece outside and I heavily distressed it. Um, so in the original video, I do have some tips on like heavy distress, light distress and all that stuff. And then I added um, some rub and buff to some of the corner edges to give it a little um, glow of gold. And then I just added that hardware back. And that was it. And I love how this piece turned out. It was super easy to transform this. This was a little bit different um, with the stencils and distressing and everything like that. But everything came together. It's a very like warm feeling. I just love this piece. It of course is no longer with me anymore, but it's a really cute piece for maybe like a boho house or like just to have as a plant stand or something like that to just have a nice little small accent piece so all in all again I love how this piece turned out and this was something a little bit different and a little bit fun all right so for my last piece this is actually a piece that I would I'm gonna say is probably like my last piece that I'm gonna share in 2020 of a furniture makeover but it might not be because I have one more in my queue but I haven't edited it yet but this is also a part of a fundraiser and it's for Habitat for Humanity. So if you want to check that video out and donate to give back, you definitely can. I will have it linked down below. So anyways, with this piece, again, you guys know the first thing that I did was I washed this piece down. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I always stress the importance of like literally washing your piece before you actually do anything to it. 
Okay, and then the next thing I did, of course, again, is take my sander and I just started to sand smooth certain areas and my top, and then I blew all of the wood dust away. And then I began to work on these lovely little wood knots that this piece had. So if you have wood knots, you wanna seal them because if you don't, they will eventually bleed through your paint and you don't want that to happen. So I normally take extra steps. So I first put that clear shellac on and then now I'm gonna put the shellac base primer on it and I'm gonna put it on the specific wood knots and then I painted the whole thing. And then I sanded it smooth and then after that I took my paint, which I'm using, the color is collard greens, so, so pretty. And it looks ugly when you're putting it on but when it dries it's gorgeous. So I did that and then after I um, did that, I started to sand down my drawers because the drawers I'm not gonna paint, I just ended up um, staining them uh, using a stain combination that is one of my favorites. After that, I attached the hardware, the new hardware that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then another little step that I did just to show you guys how you can kind of smooth out your paint even more was just brush that paint back on and then take a roller and roll it. And then you'll have some smooth paint. After that, I took my Easy Peasy Spray Wax, which is my first time using, and it is amazing because it goes on so much easier than dipping the normal wax and then like buffing it out and spreading it out and all that. So after that, that is it. That's all I did for this piece. I absolutely love how this turned out. I honestly, it is, <laughs> it should be in my shop for, for it to be on sale, but I love it so much that I think I'm gonna keep this piece. But I love how this piece turned out. Uh, super cute with the, um, paint and then the lovely wood that I just left revealed with the new hardware. I absolutely love how this turned out. I hope you guys do too because I absolutely love it and I think I'm honestly going to keep it. <laughs> All right and that is it for my top five of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again all of these are going to be individually linked down below so you can see the full in-depth tutorial on these. Again make sure you check out that playlist to see what everyone else did for their top five of 2020. I know you will enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in my next one.